of the extremists who have taken over. Lauren Boebert is whipping votes. MTG is their spokesperson. And Matt Gates is negotiating the rules. All right. It is it is a Friday, I yes, have to it say. Is. And also because twice in one week. Oh. oh hi. Good morning, Tip Glenn Kirshner. Good morning, staff. <laughs> Are you enjoying the, the clown show? It, presently going on. This is the anniversary of January second and or excuse me, sixth. And um it seems to me that they've achieved their goals of stopping the functioning of the United States government. Yeah. I mean what an embarrassment that, you know, they can't even elect a leader. I mean, perhaps not surprising, there are not a lot of leaders in the Republican Party and certainly not in Congress. But, you know, they're letting the clowns run the show. And I guess this is what we should expect. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. We've been talking for however long about our our, is justice going to come for these members of Congress who are I mean, you know, it's not a shock that they're having yet another insurrection. These are the people that were involved in in January 6th. I know you've probably heard this Ali Alexander stuff, you know, him threatening to release evidence that Marjorie Taylor Greene committed a crime and will, will get her expelled from Congress. I know as a prosecutor, you used to win dirtbags go to jail. It's normally because other dirtbags. <laughs> I know you have to check the veracity because he's a dirtbag. <laughs> but what do you make of that, uh, of what he's talking about? Yeah, I don't credit anything that character has to say. We'll wait to see what kind of evidence he produces. I know he said he's going to give it to the Georgia state authorities. Um, at least, I think, if it lands in Fonny Willis's hands, we can trust that it will be handled well, responsibly, competently, aggressively. So, but you know what? Let's see what he has to, to provide. But Steph, you asked the, the exact right question. Are these insurrectionists going to be sworn into Congress again? You know, if, if you look at the 14th Amendment, and let's remember, who is it that loves them some strict construction and originalism when it comes to the Constitution? That would be the Republicans, right? Yeah. And here is, it's all of about 30 words. Because in the event they can elect a speaker, which will probably happen eventually, the next thing that will happen is members of Congress will be sworn in. But here's what the Constitution says. No person shall be a representative in Congress who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection. Step strictly construed and applied. That means the Constitution prohibits the insurrectionists from being sworn into Congress. So the question is, what are we going to do about it? What is our government? What are what will our elected officials do about it? Yeah. Well, I mean, as many people have said, this, this is of Kevin McCarthy's own making. If he had stood by what he said on January 6th and ejected these members from Congress, we wouldn't be here today. So it's um, you just said, don't you love how the party that tried to overturn the will of the American voters is standing on the House floor blathering on about how much the American people are in charge? Hypocrisy much? Yeah. I mean, this whole thing was predictable. Yeah. yeah and, and, you know, Kevin McCarthy has no principles. All he this is a naked power grab. And, and I do wonder how long he will sacrifice the Congress and the country to his own unbridled desire to grab you know, the reins of power in the House. Will he at some point say, look, whether I'm being held hostage or not by these 10 or 20 never Kevin types, at some point I have to step aside if it looks like I will not become speaker and let somebody, you know, who actually has a shot at being elected speaker take over. Yeah. Well, you also said, so Trump throws his weight behind McCarthy and McCarthy loses again. The Republican Party seems stubbornly unwilling to learn its lesson. Um, this is a worldwide embarrassment, what's going on at this point. But, you know, to your point, you said, um, how in hell do all of Donald Trump's criminal associates continue to hover above the law? Jack, will you please prod the rule of law into wakefulness already? And the breaking news this morning, I wanted to get your take, is uh, Jack Smith apparently has given a signal into the investigation where his Donald Trump investigation is going by adding two specialists in public corruption to cases to his staff. What does that say to you? It tells me they're moving toward indictments. Mm -hmm. um, now, I maintain that it has taken far too long. I had 
high hopes that Merrick Garland would go after this aggressively, but it, it kind of proves that he didn't, probably because he was too much judge and not enough prosecutor at the end of the day. So as frustrated as I am with the pace, and you know what really got me over the last 24 hours, Steph, is Donald Trump reviving his lies about Shea Moss yeah. and Ruby Freeman, the Georgia state election workers. He knows that these are lies. His own Department of Justice told him these are lies. And what did he just do? He revived those lies and put those women again in harm's way. And he's in a position to do it because DOJ has failed to charge him for his crimes. That is unforgivable. Yeah. Well, 